Uh, we're super excited to be here at Security Field Day. As you mentioned, we had a chance to um, participate in a few network and cloud field days in the past. Always had a blast and uh, we're sure it's gonna be the same today. Uh, the main topic of our discussion is going to be network detection and response and how that can be leveraged as a part of your security strategy for your ecosystem. We're going to cover first just a brief overview of Kemp uh, for those who maybe aren't as familiar. Uh, we'll then look into some of the principles and approaches that we found from our own experience and working with customers are useful for building a network threat detection mindset and approach for your ecosystem. That's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes. The last section, we're then going to hand over to Pablo Manaric, our CTO, and he's going to dive deeper into the product architecture and also so show some real world scenarios of how our product set can be leveraged uh, for mitigating some of the common threats that we're uh, seeing today. On that note, uh, Pavel, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Pavel Minařík from Flowmon Networks slash Camp Technologies now. I work in the area of network performance monitoring and diagnostics and network detection and response for more than 14 years now. And uh, I was always on the product side, working on the product roadmap, working as a developer originally at the beginning and architecting uh, from scratch our network detection and response system. As I said, super excited to be here at Security Field Day. Quick overview on Kemp for maybe those who are a bit less familiar. Uh, we established ourselves in the early 2000s and our the kind of core value prop of what we deliver is centered on application load balancing, availability, and all the things that come along with it. If you rewind yourself back in the IT landscape back to that period of time, there was really a, a big underserved part of the market. Right. If you if you look back in the early 2000s, when it came to things like load balancing, application proxying and the like, you had on the one hand of the market uh, high end hardware centric solutions that were focused and centered on uh, custom FPGA and silicon uh, development. You did have some software um, and open source solutions, but they just weren't really that mature. So you had this big gap that existed in the middle. If I was a customer that had mature requirements from a capabilities perspective, but perhaps limitations from a budget point of view, limitations even from a skill set point of view, if I didn't have high end expertise, I didn't really have a solution that was available for me. And so that was the part of the market that we sought to focus on by taking a software first approach. Our model was effectively take the software magic that we had built, figure out how to take advantage of x86 COTS platform, selectively use ASICs, and build a solution that was for that part of the ecosystem. So of course, as you fast forward uh, through time, things like virtualization and cloud came about, and we were well positioned to take advantage of those trends. Now, since then, we've grown to be a global company, uh, over 300 uh, employees and varied ecosystem integrations across the technology landscape, along with uh, customers across all sorts of domain. Prior to last year, I spent most of our time out of our New York office, as well as our Limerick, Ireland office. Looking forward to getting back to those places. Now, something that we've seen happen over time is that the expectations and requirements of what a load balancer or an application delivery controller provides has shifted. There's been an increase in requirements around security capabilities, right, as part of the buying criteria. If you think about a load balancer at its basics, it is somewhat of a basic firewall, right, because I'm terminating traffic, I'm doing some level of deep packet inspection in terms of making decisions. Given its position, it often is leveraged almost as a last line of defense for your application security. And it's a place where I consolidate other security functions. I mean, I'm storing certificate information as an example. Uh, I will add in web application firewall, authentication, integration with your identity access management system and the like. And so those are core things that we have within our foundational load balancer product set. Uh, but as was mentioned in the introduction, we've expanded our capabilities further recently with the acquisition of Flowmon Networks. 
And it's the Flowmon product line that we're gonna spend most of our time on today. Uh, this additional uh, set of products helps us with additional network visibility, as well as threat detection, which is really the cornerstone of today's discussion. Now, this is a good time to segue into what the product portfolio actually looks like. You could think of it almost kind of sliced into two, right? Uh, on the one hand, within the product portfolio, we have the parts that deal in active network participation, right? The things that I mentioned, the load balancer, web application firewall, DNS-based traffic distribution for getting traffic across multiple sites, multiple clouds, and the like. The Flowmon product line within the portfolio is then centered on observability, uh, helping you to have insights about what's going on in the ecosystem. At the heart of that is our NPMD functionality, network performance monitoring and diagnostics, right? By leveraging access to flow data in the network combined with just in time access to full packet capture uh, insights. I'm able to get a clear view on what's the state of your network from a performance perspective, from a troubleshooting perspective, from a WAN connectivity perspective and the like. Again, though, I'm able to leverage that privileged information for doing other interesting things. I can use that vantage point to start to detect when there's anomalous behavior that's happening within your ecosystem. I'm looking at everything anyway, I might as well tell you about it if I see something that could be leading to a security threat. Now, the last part of that portfolio is then the application performance monitoring. And I would say this is network centric APM. We're not uh, looking at code execution paths within the application ecosystem, but again, using the network insight data that I'm capturing, I'm able to tell you about things that you could do to improve your application experience. So as an example, if I see that uh, HTTP request to a front end you know, website, every time you request certain images, well, that's taking a really long time to load. Or if I'm looking back at my SQL queries and I can see that certain transactions are taking a really, really long time. Well, I can give you insights that if you fix those couple of things, the overall application ecosystem will perform better and your users are gonna get a better experience. So today, as noted, we're going to focus on the network detection and response part of the product portfolio, uh, but I'm sure in a future field days, we'll get a chance to dive into the other aspects as well. Just summarizing, right, the, the, the core value prop that this product portfolio brings together. As a load balancer, we've got deep layer seven application insights and the ability to do smart things within your network from just a traditional load balancing perspective, but also from a security point of view. Uh, the addition of the Flowmon product line, well, that now gives us deeper visibility from a networking perspective. When you combine both of those product portfolios, when you deploy those things together, you start to get some interesting use cases and value propositions. And we are going to be developing a rich roadmap of deeper integrations between those two product sets. Uh, the first iteration of that is actually going to be uh, coming out next quarter, and we'll have some interesting announcements on that coming up. Now, the last angle of this is the security perspective. An application layer, I need to apply security uh, at the HTTP stack, and I also need to get insights on what's going on in my network. Uh, from a security and threat perspective as well. This is what our product portfolio attempts and successfully does help customers to do. So with this backdrop in mind, bit of background on Kemp, we'll now progress to discuss some of the principles and approaches that we found successful in helping customers to address threat detection and uh, response requirements.